Gelfo Zamboni 1897-1994 was an Italian diplomat who saved hundreds of Jews during the Holocaust. Early life Gelfo Zamboni was born at Santa Sofia, then part of Tuscany. The last of eight sons, he belonged to a family devoted to handicrafts. His parents wanted him to become a clergyman, but they died early in his life and left him an orphan. He decided to attend school when he became older and faced the hardship of earning a living while studying. At 19 he fought as an infantryman in World War I from 1916 to 1918, and was honored with a bronze medal of military valor and a war merit cross as he had been seriously wounded. After the war he received a degree in economics and trade. In 1925 he took the exam that began him in his diplomatic career. He would be an associate of Baron Bernardo Adelico, the Italian ambassador in Berlin, and learned and became fluent in German. Rescuing the Jews of Thessaloniki In 1942 Zamboni was appointed Consul General for Italy in Thessaloniki, a town occupied by Nazi Germany. At that time, Thessaloniki hosted the world's largest community 56,000 of Sephardic Jews, many of Italian descent. In June 1942, the Einsatz Leiter Rosenberg began the systematic confiscation of the town's archives, libraries, and manuscripts, all of which were sent to the Institute for Jewish Studies in Frankfurt am Main. Between March and August 1943 the Germans deported nearly all of Thessaloniki's Jewish population to concentration and death camps. Zamboni could not prevent the tragedy, but he did everything he could to rescue Italian Jews. He also managed to extend provisional Italian citizenship to 280 Greek Jews. These certificates of Italian nationality, with the handwritten mark provisional, were handed to many people who did not speak or understand Italian, made quasi-legal by claiming distant relatives. He later said. I know they were false papers, but I marked them with a writing provisional waiting for a confirmation. Their number eventually reached 350. Zamboni thus saved them from deportation as well. Zamboni left Thessaloniki on June 18, 1943 to return to Rome. His work in rescuing Jews was continued by his successor, Giuseppe Castruccio. Castruccio would later organize a rescue train that transported Jews with Italian passports to Athens, which at that time was under Italian occupation. Zamboni's behavior was observed by one of his co-workers, Captain Lucilla Merci, a liaison officer with the German forces and the author of a detailed diary of those events. Post-war After the war's end, Zamboni was put in charge of diplomatic missions in Baghdad and in Thailand. He was the Italian ambassador to Thailand until 1961. In 1992, the State of Israel awarded Gelfo Zamboni with the title of Righteous Among the Nations. He was thus awarded a place in Jerusalem's Yad Vashem. In 2002, Ehud Gol, the Israeli ambassador in Italy, traveled to Santa Sofia to place a stone in Zamboni's memory. Gelfo Zamboni never asked for recognition for his aid and remained quite unknown in Italy until the eve of his 95th birthday 1992, when he gave his first interview after being awarded the title of Righteous Among the Nations. In 2008, the Italian embassy in Athens published the book Abrati Salonica 1943, A Documenti della Manita Italiana edited by Antonio Ferrari Corriere della Sera, Alessandra Coppola University of Padua, and Giannis Chrysophis a Greek journalist. This book reports the telex sent to Rome by Zamboni. His story also inspired the theatrical work Salonico 43 by Ferdinando Siriani, John Paolo Cavarai, and Antonio Ferrari, previewed at the University of Tel Aviv on September 23, 2008 during a celebratory evening organized by the Italian Cultural Institute.